Microsoft Outlook 2010 allows us to build a folder structure so we can get organized. If we are going to keep emails, we really shouldn't keep them always in our inbox and we shouldn't use our deleted items as a storage location either, especially if you're like me and your work email is controlled by your IT department. They could go through and delete your your deleted items without even talking to you first and if you use that as a storage location they're gone. So we're going to discuss building a folder structure and setting up some favorites. Right now we're in my inbox and I have over 4200 emails in there right now. They don't all need to be sitting in my inbox. In fact a lot of these uh, are just cluttering up my inbox and I want to file them away. I don't want to delete them but I need to file them away. So what I'm going to do is start building some folders. So under my inbox I actually have one folder already built. So this is how I did it. I went to inbox, right click, and I say new folder. And I want to give my folder a good name. So let's say these are for desk copies and I say OK. So now I have this cool little uh, folder structure building and let's say another one I want to say are instructor inquiries. Say OK. So I have a couple folders already but how can I move my emails into this location very quickly? Well, I'm going to use my search bar. So I'm going to type in desk copy. And any of the subject lines or any internal portion of the email that has desk copy will be searched and will be the result of that search. OK, it looks like the search is done and it brought back 80 items. I'm not going to select all 80 items and just dump it in the desk copy folder because some of these might not need to go into the desk copy folder. Most of the ones that do have the desk copy in the subject matter would in fact go. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this first one selected. Then I'm going to hold down my control and select any of the other emails that I would like to send over. So here we go. I'm going to scroll down and uh, it looks like there's a few more that I can move over. Okay and then what I'm going to do is just drag and drop those emails into the desk copy folder and they're gone. I'm saving them for a rainy day and in the event that I need to go back to the desk copy information. I just click on my folder and you see they're all there nice and neatly. Okay, Back to my inbox and let's say instructor inquiries. So again maybe I want to do a search for questions. So and this is going to pull up quite a few. So this search, just by the use of the word question, brought back 791 emails. I may want to do my search a little bit more specific if I want instructor inquiries. But what I could do is I can say who it's from and that would help me because I know who my instructors are. And since I know who my instructors are, I'll scroll up and just clicking on a few of them that I do want to move over. Actually all of these can go over and I would just drag them over to instructor inquiries. And again this is cleaning up my inbox and I would go through my inbox doing searches moving them over to folders. Now let's say I wanted okay instructor inquiries are great but that box is going to that folder is going to fill up very rapidly so maybe I want another folder underneath the instructor inquiries and say it's a question about schedule so now I have a folder underneath the inquiries and I can do a search in my inbox for schedule perhaps 
and again that's going to pull up all the emails in regards to schedules and I can pull out the ones that should go over into the folder schedule. I do this because my inbox gets so cluttered. I mean 4200 emails is ridiculous if I'm trying to find something but the best thing I can do is build a folder, a folder structure to be able to uh, save these e emails. But the other thing if you don't need to save it, don't save it. I've got a lot of emails that I can immediately dump. So I'm going to sort it by from. And I do know a few of these emails from ZDNet. I do try and look at these, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to click on ZDNet and hit delete. Again, ZDNet. I'm going to say go ahead and apply that. Again, YouTube, I don't need to keep all of those. I've already viewed those. And I can go through my inbox and at least get rid of those emails that I don't need. Just by going through my email, I was able to clean up my email down to 3,300 emails. That's about a difference of 900 emails. I would go through this process of adding folders, but let's say I have a folder that I actually, I'm going to build a new folder. I'm going to say junk. I'm just going to call it junk for now. And if I actually did not want this folder or if I ended up putting emails in here and I didn't need the emails and didn't need the folder, what I could do is click on the folder, right click, and I could say delete the folder. I could also rename the folder, I could copy the folder, but I want to delete the folder. And I say yes, and now my folder structure is nice and neat. The other thing that we can do with the folder structure is later on I'm going to show you how to create rules. So immediately emails that come in will go immediately into these folders. But again, this is to declutter your inbox. There's no way I can know exactly where any of my emails are if I have 3,300 emails in my inbin. The last thing I want to ch chat about is junk email. So Outlook does have junk. We can set up, we can block a certain sender, never block the sender, block certain domains, and then never block groups. And I can also have junk email options. For example, if I have a person that's bothering me or I know it's specific junk, and I'm just going to choose one person, here we go, I can say block this sender. That way the sender can't even send me emails or I can say junk filter is not available for us because we're on an, an exchange server. But you could go through and you could say do you want high most junk mail, email is caught, safe list only, who are my block senders, who are safe recipients. This is very tough because you might miss somebody and they would not be on your safe list. Safe senders again easy enough to do from my contacts, but what if uh, a long lost brother contacts you? Well, that's going to go to junk email because they're not in your contacts list. So if you are going to set up your junk email, be sure to, instead of just deleting all your junk email, go through it periodically and make sure that there's something that didn't escape your view. And then what you can do is you can click on that email and say you're safe. Again, right click and say safe but that's the junk email. One last thing. We have an area called favorites and which is really cool because if I don't need to get into this other folder structure very often but there are a few things that I want to get to frequently what I can do is let's say this desk copy folder I get into all the time. So what I can do is I can click it, drag it up to my favorites, set it down wherever I want it and it's still here on my folder structure but now it's under favorites so I can get to it at all times. Same thing with oh if I want my sync items I can put that up there. Uh, let's say any RSS feeds that are my favorite I can or drag and drop into my favorites and then what I can do is close this main folder structure, collapse it and now I have only my favorites showing and if I want to delete any of my favorites I right click and say remove from favorites. 
it's still in the folder structure. I want to make sure that I want to be very clear it's in my folder structure. Likewise with here's desk copy if I right click on the desk copy that's under my favorites and I say remove from favorites it's still in my folder structure it's just no longer listed on my favorites. Likewise if there's anything here that I do want to remove from my favorites I can but usually unread mail, sent items, and inbox and maybe one or two folders that you get into all the time because you're dragging and dropping in that all the time would be perfect setup for a folder structure underneath the favorites. So let's review. We managed our folder structure by adding folders and deleting the folders. We moved emails into our folder structure. We also sorted there our emails and got rid of some emails to clear out our inbox. It doesn't make sense to have a ton of in inbox uh, emails in your inbox if you can't find anything so the folder structure will help us organize and make our inbox more manageable adding items to our favorites makes access a lot faster